This is a general description of our large coffee van fit outs. Um, this one's in a LDV G10 van, but um, the fit out can be put into any large panel van, which includes a Hyundai I load, um, a Renault Traffic, a um, Mercedes Vito, Toyota Hire, so any van of that size. Now we've got the serving area at the back here. Um, I guess the, the main appliance here at the back is, is your two group coffee machine. Uh, this is the gas Fortuno machine. It's a high group, so you can fit your 16 ounce cups underneath the group heads there. And as you can see, it's two group as well. So you can make four eight ounce cups at the one time. Um, you got your, your grinder there. We can put in any grinder. Uh, the Mazza Jollies are the popular ones that we put in. Um, the clients provided their own electronic grinder for this fit out. Above the coffee machine, you've got your, your cup dispensers. So that's currently set for your small, medium and large cups. They can be adjusted uh, to different sizes if you're just running small and large or large and, and extra large sort of, sort of size there. Now it's a full stainless steel fit out at the back there. To the left of the coffee machine, you've got your utensil sink, which is hot and cold water. Your syrup holders um, against the back wall there, and then you've got your lid holders there. There's also internal lights and ventilation in the roof there, which is uh, the lights are great for, for early morning or night work. Um, an inbuilt knock tube. Um, so once you run your coffee through the machine, you just tap it through, and that goes into a, a, a under storage bin, as you can see there. And there's a bit of storage space at the back there as well. Now next to the knock, knock tube there, you've also got your 70 litre milk fridge, which is very handy to have at the back for easy access to milk. Uh, there's a few locks there. Um, as you can see there, that's where your milk would go. Um, the fridge height is quite good, meaning the bench height uh, for the serving area at the back is, is quite comfortable as well. To the left of the, the milk fridge at the back there, you've got your lockable cash till. And that has keys inside there, so you can lock the, lock the till. Underneath the till, you've also got another storage drawer for maybe hot chocolate or any other supplies that you want to carry at the back there. So that's the general setup at the back. There's options to put blender to the left of the coffee machine if you require. Now moving around to the passenger side area, what we have there is a two-door display fridge with a display cabinet for you know, banana breads or any point of sale that doesn't need to be refrigerated. We raise the fr fridge 100 mil uh, from the ground for easy clean and also for, for council regulations. Sealable cargo barrier between the driver's area and the fit out area. That's a safety thing, but um, it works quite well. And then if we look inside here, you've got your sensor hand wash. Put your hand underneath, water will come out your paper towel and your soap dispenser, which is good for, for council. And then inside here, you've got your hot water system or your plumbing and electrics, which is neatly installed to the back of the splash back there. Now, all your waste that goes down the sinks, down the coffee machine, goes into your waste tank there, has external hose where you just um, open that up to empty your waste after your day's trade. Now we'll go over to the driver's side. So you have a fire extinguisher for safety there for another health and safety compliance. Um, you've got a 30 capacity pile warmer on, on the bench there and in, inside here you've got your power system. So this is a, a gas lithium battery power setup. So essentially it's a, a switch on switch off the service there where you can see the switches um, and that inverter comes on and then runs your batteries which are underneath there. Now I guess the good thing about the gas lithium battery powered system, apart from your running costs being a lot more efficient and also the silence, frees up a lot of space there, as you can see underneath the pile one for storage or additional appliances. We have a, also a roof vent, uh, which is handy, especially for those hot summer days. Um, just, I guess, looking at this fan, you can see what we have in here is just your, your driver's compartment. Uh, there's a musical air horn in here. I'll just put that on which uh, is great for when you go to those sites where I guess um, your customers can't see you and they're waiting to hear, hear the sound for or the air horn for coming out to get their coffee. And there's also a display here to tell you how much battery power you have. So as you can see, with this fit out, we're at 100%.
It's gonna get you through a full day's trade. There's also a recharging system when the vehicle engine is on to ensure that the batteries are recharged whilst the vehicle is on. I'll just close the door here on the driver's side. What we have here is your external water filler. Um, it's 106 litre water tank, so that's a lot of coffees. And you fill the water through there, and then your tank is just behind the batteries there. So you can see that large black tank in between all the wires there. In regards to the gas, the coffee machine is a dual fuel, so it runs off gas, but it also runs off electric if you're plugged into mains power. We run it through a four kilo gas bottle, which is an external gas box in the side here. And essentially, it's just a refill refillable gas bottle. But that is external, so you can have the gas on whilst driving the vehicle, ensuring full power into to, to your coffee machine on your coffee run. So that's a general description of our large coffee van packages. Um, yeah, there's, there's different other, I guess, setups that you could have, but this is the most popular one.